So you're sure you can take care of this rat problem for me? Yes, sir, I'm gonna get rid of every single one of them. And I really appreciate you giving me this opportunity to make a little bit of extra cash. No problem at all. Holidays coming up? No, no, it's for bail. Right, uh, anyways, I'm gonna let you get to it and um, I'll just be back in a little while. I'll see you later. All right, to catch the rat, you gotta think like a rat. And if I was a rat, I'd be hiding in these walls. That's some thick old walls there. I'm He's locked up right now. When he gets out, he does real good drywall. We'll get it taken care of. What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today, we're gonna have some more fun with the punt gun. The last video we filmed, we shot some zombie torsos. These things are made by Ballistic Dummy Labs. They have lifelike flesh, bones, organs, and have been zombified with green blood. The results were pretty spectacular, but you all were not satisfied. I went down in the comment section, and the number one request for our next video was body armor. So today we are gonna do just that. I have two more Ballistic Dummy Lab zombie torsos, and I have some Premier body armor. First up on the menu is a level 3A soft armor vest that's rated up to 44 Magnum. And then I have some level 4 ceramic plates, and these are rated up to armor piercing 30-06. So if you do not know what a punt gun is, let me ballisticate you real quick. Punt guns used to be used for commercial duck hunting. They would attach these things to a John boat, which they called a punt, so therefore you had a punt gun. Fury here is a modern punt gun made out of modern materials. It has a six foot long barrel, is nine foot overall in length, and weighs over 150 pounds. And when it comes to recoil, Fury is going to be producing upwards of 800 pounds of felt recoil. Just for reference, that is the same body weight as a grizzly bear or two Eddie Halls. That is a lot of recoil, and most people would just be ripped in half. I could totally shoulder fire this thing, but I forgot to take my Flintstone vitamins this morning, so I'm gonna use my handy dandy recoil absorbing sled. Fury's bore diameter is 1.68 inches, and just for some reference, this is a 50 BMG. And this is a four bore, an actual rifle round. It is one inch in diameter and is 2,150 grains. And these are two bolt action rifles, a 308 and a 6.5 Creedmoor. And both of them fit right down that barrel. And there's enough space, I could probably fit a third. So the plan is to start out with soft body armor. This vest is rated up to 44 Magnum, and I'm gonna hit it with this, a one pound lead ball, AKA 7,000 grains. This will be producing upwards of 25,000 foot pounds of energy, but it's gonna be moving a little slow. I think this vest may actually catch this round, but I think it may drag the vest completely through the zombie torso. And I am very excited to see if it will actually do that. The four bore almost pulled a vest completely through a zombie torso, but I think the punt gun is gonna actually get the job done today. So now all we have to do is get loaded up and get started. Fury the punt gun is pretty awesome, but you know what's not awesome? Being involved in a self-defense scenario. But thankfully there's companies out there like today's sponsor, the USCCA. USCCA stands for U.S. Concealed Carry Association, and they're dedicated to helping responsibly armed American citizens defend their families. There are three pillars to a USCCA membership parkour. The first is being mentally prepared. With your USCCA membership, you will gain access to a secure online training platform called the Protector Academy. Inside, you will find digital guides, eBooks, and checklists, all designed by self-defense experts to help you better protect yourself and your family. Being physically prepared. Feeling 
ability to train, it's training to fail. The videos inside the Protector Academy are broken down into bite-sized chunks and you will learn real-world skills to become a more prepared and proficient protector. Being legally prepared! While becoming educated and trained can help keep you safe, it's still very important to be legally prepared. The hard truth is after a self-defense situation, the aftermath can be unpredictable. But all USCCA members become insured on a self-defense liability insurance policy as an automatic membership benefit. So if you're interested in becoming a more prepared protector of your family, be sure and check out the USCCA using my link in the description down below. And if you're on the fence about your decision, don't worry because thanks to the USCCA's bulletproof guarantee, you have up to 365 days to make sure your membership is worth every penny. And if for some reason you're not satisfied, they will give you a prompt and courteous refund. Again, a big thank you to the USCCA for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's go get back to it. Fury is loaded up with a one pound ball and a quarter pound of powder. This is gonna be awesome. Line it up here, poor little eyeball. It's like a little blurry sometimes, you know? It's weird, it's like something exploded in my face one day or something. Okie dokie, all that's left is pull back this big old hammer. Wouldn't wanna be that guy. Okie dokie. Here we go. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Okie dokie, let's have a look. I actually went ahead and reviewed the slow-mo footage and it looks like we hit a little too low. Uh, Mr. Zombie here, he took one right to the belly and as you can see, that tore him up pretty good. If you flip him over, oh, oh yeah, you can see we, well, we completely blew his back out. This is the front panel and as you can see, we just kind of went right underneath it. And as for the other portion of the vest, the back of the vest actually caught the round and as you can see here this is the carrier and it has quite a hole through it and here we have the cloth that goes around the uh, Kevlar and then the Kevlar is all the way over here a good 75 yards away you can see that ball hit right there and then it just kind of Took the vest with it. Okay, I am not satisfied with that. So I reconstructed the vest, put it back on the zombie torso, and we are loaded up again with another one pound ball. But this time, I'm not gonna take any chances. I have moved him up fairly close. So I don't think there's any way we could miss. Alrighty, round two. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. then let's have a look so it looks like the front portion of the vest is kind of oh dear it's a good look at this right here it is uh crammed oh 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 wow okay 
Look at that. This is a giant fist sized hole inside this thing. I mean, it absolutely destroyed the entire chest. All the ribs, everything's broken. And it looks like the round actually managed to blow through the soft armor. I didn't think that it would be moving fast enough to actually cut through the vest. I don't think it was moving that fast though because it took all of this Kevlar and almost pulled it completely through him. Um, let's see if we can flip him over. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, looky there. That's just, there's literally nothing holding him together right now. I really think if I just gave him a little bit of a twist, you know, like, yeah, he's just coming completely apart. That is ridiculous. So then we hit the other side of the soft armor. And again, it took it pretty far. Uh, we've got piece of the carrier, piece of the carrier. And then over here, we have the actual body armor. <laughs> Check this out. It ripped it to shreds. It's like all the layers. It hit it so hard that it just broke all the seams, I guess. Oh, there's where we hit. Right there. Smacked it. And then the round continued on over here. It smacked the berm and then it's right here on the ground. Look at that thing. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything so ridiculous? That is a massive piece of lead. And I cannot believe how well it held together. This is rather disgusting. Ah. Oh. All right. We got another zombie torso. Oh. 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 Get in there. Ah. Okay. So my scientific findings at this point is that soft body armor is not a good defense against a punt gun. But what about ceramic plates that are level four and rated up to armor piercing 30-06? Would this stop the punt gun? And if it does, what kind of energy transfer are you gonna have into your body? Since I've had some trouble today with my aiming, I am not gonna take any chances this time. I'm gonna stack two plates on top of each other and that way, if I pull my shot a little low, we hit it. And if we're a little high, we still hit it. And again, I'm going to have him pretty darn close to the punt gun. Oh, all right. The zombie is covered in level four body armor. And Fury here is loaded up with another quarter pound of powder and another 7,000 grain lead ball. I think that it might stop it but even if it does i think it's going to be pretty devastating okay i'm going to scoot back pretty far this time because i imagine that ceramic is going to go everywhere but before i pull this string if you're not subscribed to kentucky ballistics make sure you hit that subscribe button okie dokie here we go okie dokie here we go oh oh
that. It's a lot of smoke. Oh, oh, wow, oh my gosh. Okay, um, so here's a plate and here's a plate, okay. It appears I hit the top portion of this plate and no, no, how was this? This was overlapped, so okay. So it looks like I hit right here in the center of this top plate, but still managed to nick the bottom of this plate. And it looks like it made it through the plate. Mr. Zombie here, let's see if he's got a hole through the other side. He's not looking too good, if you ask me. Uh, uh, yep, yep, he's got a hole through the other side. Okay, well. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that might have stopped it. I thought that the ceramic in that plate would have broken up the round enough that maybe it would have stopped the round. But apparently not. Uh, the punt gun doesn't really seem to care if you're wearing body armor or not. Uh, it blew completely through it. Mr. Zombie here, he's not having a good day. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's just gonna fall apart. I mean, that's after going through the ceramic plate, just completely shredded him. That's crazy. Looks like he had a stick of dynamite inside him. Actually, I have a correction to make. I just reviewed the slow-mo footage and it turns out the punt gun did not actually make it through the plate. Instead, it just took the plate with it and ripped it completely through the zombie. So this is just the front portion of the plate. This is the ceramic portion, but the other half of it shot out his back and is about 50 yards that way. Relax, relax, lift your chin up. Yep, right there, okay, okay. You should feel better. You're gonna have some drainage because I opened up that C4 and C6, but you should be pretty good. Oh, yeah, so as you can see, that's a piece of the cloth. It smells so bad. We hit right here and you can see just pieces of that ceramic that are pushed into this thing. We've got a big old circle right here, but it did not make it all the way through. And instead it just said, well, I can't make it through the armor, so I'm just gonna drag it through your entire body. <laughs> well, that's gonna be it for this punt gun video. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below, along with what you would like to see me blast next with the punt gun. Also, be sure and give today's video a like, and if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can also check me out on Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Kentucky Customs, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Scott, and I'll see you next time. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, oh, oh! Are you running these pants? Gonna hit this one too. Oh! I'm gonna go take a shower now. <laughs>